This is 219 News Now, brought to you by Strachan Van Til, making lives easier for 94 years. I'm Andrew Garcia, and this is your 219 News Now. In 1980, a young Richard Knepp entered Teamsters Local 142 in Gary for the first time. And now, just over four decades later, he's retiring after being the head of the local for the past 17 years. It's a part of a family that once you get in it, you just can't quit. It's, it's, you know, it's like a family that you always wanted and, you know, brothers and sisters in this organization, you know, they always work together, have each other's back. Um, and, and we fight like hell and we fight hard. <laughs> Knip hands the reins as secretary treasurer over to longtime assistant Harvey Jackson, who takes over on January 1st. Continue the fights that, we, that we've that uh, we started, continue to, to negotiate good contracts that we've been negotiating. Uh, here in the last, uh, I think, 20 months, uh, we're seeing unprecedented increases in wages and benefits. Um, and we just don't know when that's going to end, but we, get, we go every day to fight for it. Forty years ago, the Christmas classic A Christmas Story was released. This past weekend, members of the cast returned to Hammond for Ralphie and the Gang Come Home at the Indiana Welcome Center. Four decades have passed, but those who starred in the film still enjoy making appearances in the region to commemorate the iconic movie. Hammond is the birthplace. This is where Gene Shepard is from. This is where everything is derived. And that whole story, since this is a storytelling uh, movie, the whole story re revolves around Hammond. And so it resonates. It resonates with so many people over the generations, specific to the experiences. As you watch the movie, there's a lot of, you know, scenes that resonates with so many different people. That's why it's so beloved. Franciscan Health has secured approval from Munster for a major vertical expansion of its Franciscan Health Munster Hospital, which would serve as a regional medical center. This includes additions of a new five-story tower and three additional stories to an existing medical office building at the hospital campus near the intersection of Calumet and 45th Avenues. Before expansion can begin, however, each building will still have to individually go through the town's site review process, town manager Dustin Anderson said. And in sports, the Lake Central girls basketball team defeated Crown Point 57-41 on Friday night, but it was also a night to honor the past. At halftime, LC recognized the 1994 state championship team on the 30th anniversary of their title, which was the last single class basketball championship won by a region team. Players travel from as far away as Colorado, North Carolina, and Wisconsin to be a part of the evening. It warms my heart that these kids enjoyed their time here and came back to reminisce, the team's head coach, Tom Magiesi, said. To read up on more local headlines, visit JedTV.com and NWI.com. I'm Andrew Garcia, and this has been your 219 News Now.